Many of us take walking for granted, but we really shouldn't. For one, being able to walk is not a given for all humans. And even if we do think that walking is no big deal, we certainly didn't think so when we were toddlers. On average, it takes a human being about a full year to be able to walk. But other mammals? They're walking within days or even hours of being born. The big difference? Unlike those creatures, humans walk on two legs, not four. So why? What is the point in being upright all the time? Let's put our feet down and get some answers. Right now on Owl Connected's General Knowledge. Humans aren't the only animals capable of being bipedal or walking upright on two feet. Many monkeys and apes do this, and you can even catch the odd raccoon doing a two-foot shuffle from time to time. And of course, all birds are bipeds. They only have two feet in the first place. But when it comes to mammals, we are unique. Humans are the only primate evolved to always walk on two legs. And on the surface, it comes with a few noticeable drawbacks. Though a few quadrupeds, such as the ostrich, are quite fast, most of the world's fastest animals are quadrupeds, or four-legged animals. These include the cheetah, numerous antelopes, greyhounds, and horses. Even the world's fastest human ever, sprinter Usain Bolt, is really quite slow by comparison. And when we evolved into being fully bipedal, our arms grew shorter and our legs grew longer. This meant that we lost our ability to climb trees super easily. If you look at other primates, such as monkeys and chimpanzees, they have very long arms, which are excellent for climbing. Bipedal humans are slow on the ground and awkward at climbing trees. That doesn't really sound like a great way for us to have avoided prehistoric predators, now does it? So why would humans have evolved to walk upright at all? There are advantages to being bipedal. For one, bipeds use far less energy to move than quadrupeds do. So, while we might be slower in a sprint, we are nearly world champions in endurance. We're also able to sweat as we move, which is a huge advantage. Most other animals must stop from time to time to prevent their bodies from overheating. Is that why we're bipedal? Endurance and conserving energy? Perhaps. Humans evolved in Africa, a continent now full of wide grasslands with very few trees. Perhaps we stopped being tree climbers because it was better to have the endurance needed to walk long distances to find sources of food and water. Or maybe it was because we wanted to use our hands more. Back in 1871, the father of evolution himself, Charles Darwin, suggested that we evolve this way so that we could carry tools and other valuable objects, as well as throw things with precision. But while it is helpful for us to have our hands free to do these things, is that really why we evolved this way? After all, chimpanzees have been seen walking on two legs and carrying objects as well. The truth of the matter is, we still don't know why we evolved this way. There's likely some connection between our habitat, our growing intelligence, and what we're seeing as the easiest ways for us to survive. That's how evolution works. The most valuable traits are passed on from generation to generation. But knowing why those changes happened, that is a real challenge. The best way for us to learn the truth will be for paleontologists to discover more fossils of early hominids from millions of years past, a time when the differences between early humans and other primates were far smaller than they are now. Hey there, the video may be over, but please don't walk away just yet. Not until you've used those free hands of yours to whack that subscription button. That way, you and your delightfully evolved brain will never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.